Mr. Jeff again with another VBDL Explorer. And this time we're going to be talking about mistakes in art. Here's something to look at there. So we're going to do something a little different this time where we won't have a package, a take and make package for you to take home with you. But this is going to be a, a video where you're going to get some ideas about how you might be able to improve or change your mistakes in art to make them a little bit better. So we're gonna give you some ideas. Now, I know everyone at some point has made some kind of mistake uh, on an art project, things that you didn't expect. Um, ask yourself, what did you learn from that mistake? Well, artists all over the world have been asking themselves that same question for years. And they have come up with some famous quotes. So. First of all, I'm going to tell you, uh, read some quotes for you. So, first of all, we don't make mistakes, just happy little accidents. Sounds like Bob Ross to me. Creativity is allowing yourself to make mistakes. Art is knowing which ones to keep. That's from Scott Adams. The pop artist Peter Max says, don't worry about mistakes. Making things out of mistakes, that's creativity. And musician and artist Don Van Vliet says, art is rearranging and grouping mistakes. So, those are some famous people that have had their thoughts about create, about mistakes. And I want you to think in two, and also in terms of how mistakes happen in the first place. Let's say that you're in the middle of a great drawing and sometimes things are out of your control. Maybe your dog comes in with muddy paw prints and steps all over your drawing that you're just about ready to finish. Maybe another thing out of your control could be that somebody else just takes your drawing and rips it and really damages it, okay? Or maybe um, you're, you're just not really happy with your drawing. Maybe for some reason it's, it doesn't turn out the way you like it. Maybe it's... Um, you know, just not as realistic, you know, so you may be unhappy that way, or maybe something spills on it, like, you know, your ink or your black paint. So, today, I'm going to show you what you can do with a drawing that maybe has an imperfection to it that you might want to reconsider how to improve it. So, to start off with, I did this drawing. Now, this is a copy of the drawing, and it, as you can see, it's a, a profile of a, a figure, a lot of exaggerated features. It's not a realistic drawing. Uh, the nose is very angled, stylized hair, big lips, exaggerated lips, huge collar. So things are not uh, realistic here. So it's more of a, a fantasy kind of drawing. But let's say that somehow uh, something happens. Maybe you have an ink spill on your drawing. So instead of taking that and throwing it away, maybe you could do something like this. Here's an idea where I took a separate piece of paper and I did a, a, a line drawing with pen and then some pencil and I made a frame around that so I cut out the inside so just the profile of the figure shows and the damaged spot which maybe is down here is covered up with it on another piece of paper. This one even has a colored piece of paper with it. So there's a one possibility. Another one, let's say your paper got ripped somehow. So in this case, um, I did a drawing on this pink paper that I placed in the back of the drawing, and I didn't even try to match up the missing part with the features of the face. I did something totally different. Here's a bird, like in a bird nest, coming out. So it's very different. So if you start with a plan A, maybe a plan B might turn out to be something that's even better. Here's another possibility. Let's say that you spilled some coffee or some kind of thing that would stain your paper. So in this case, uh, I let the coffee spill dry and then I took a pen and just outlined around each one of those spots and then I took and did a stipple technique. So instead of drawing line or shading, I just made dots with the, the pen around the outside edges. So it kind of has a, a whole other um, dimension and a little bit more of a value around the outside edge. 
Another possibility, let's say you have a damaged spot in an area and you could add another piece of paper. In this case, I drew a fish with some colored pencils and markers and then I glued that onto an area. Um, so again, not related to the, the figure so much, but something that's very different. And it doesn't have to always match. Here's another idea. This is a non-objective scribble. So you can even try taking the hand that you don't normally use. In this case, I use my left hand and I use some colored pencils, I used some markers, and I just did some scribbling, kind of freeform, without really trying to make something realistic. So sometimes that can free you up to just do something totally different. And again, maybe your plan B might turn out to be even better than your original drawing. So when you have a drawing, instead of throwing it away like that, when you make a mistake, try a different plan try doing something a little different now we're going to leave you with another thought here here's a, a final quote from the writer Neil Gaiman Neil Gaiman says I hope you'll make mistakes if you're making mistakes it means you're out there doing something go and make interesting mistakes make amazing mistakes make glorious and fantastic mistakes break rules leave the world more interesting for you being here that is a great thought, and we're going to close this VBDL Explorers with one final word. It's okay to oops. See you next time, and enjoy making your mistakes. Bye-bye.